Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Jennifer Marie where I teach you how to make money online as a work from home freelancer. Today's video is the start of my new series on featured jobs on Upwork. Every week I'm going to spotlight a featured job on Upwork that even beginners can apply to. In today's video I'm going to talk about how to become a YouTube thumbnail designer and apply to dozens of jobs that are popping up every day on Upwork. If you're not familiar with Upwork, it's a platform where you can apply to jobs as a freelancer. I have earned over 80,000 US dollars as a top rated plus freelancer on Upwork. And in the description below, I'll link you to my playlist showing you how to get started on Upwork and become a freelancer there. So in today's video, I'm going to show you many YouTube thumbnail designer jobs that are available on Upwork right now and that I see pop up every day. I'll show you how to set up your profile to target this type of job and demonstrate an example of how to write a cover letter to apply to this type of job. Then I'll show you how we can set up our profile on Upwork and also how you can create thumbnails for YouTube on free websites like Canva to then use in our portfolio and send to clients in our job proposals. And I'll give you a few other tips and tricks throughout the video. So before we get started, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on how to become a work from home freelancer and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to search for these kinds of jobs on Upwork. So we are on Upwork right now, and at the top here, if you click on this arrow, you're going to make sure that you are searching for jobs. If you click here on talent, this is that you are looking to hire someone. So make sure you are clicking jobs. And then we're just going to click on the search icon, and this will bring up all the jobs we have. So you can see here, there are over 200,000 jobs available right now on Upwork. So we need to filter these by what we are looking for. So at the side here, you can choose any of these filters. Make sure that everything is unchecked right now because you don't want to miss out on any jobs. Now what I would recommend you do is click on payment verified. You don't have to do this, but this ensures that all the clients who are looking for freelancers have already verified their account payment wise. So they are ready to hire someone, but you can see that has filtered this down to just under 200,000 jobs. And now what we're going to do is click on advanced search and under any of these words, we're going to put thumbnails and then a space thumbnail and then press search. Okay, so 927 jobs have popped up. You can see here, this one's in French, but they're looking for someone to design thumbnails for YouTube, YouTube video thumbnail designer. This was just posted 29 minutes ago. I'm gonna open this one up by right clicking, open in new tab. Here's another one from the Netherlands. This was just posted two hours ago. Another one, two hours ago. This one, 10 hours ago. So you can see these are constantly being posted and all the time when I'm on Upwork, I am seeing people who are wanting to pay someone to create their thumbnails for YouTube. And a lot of these are long-term positions. So now let's look at an example of one of these jobs. This person is willing to pay $5 per thumbnail. They want five thumbnails per week. So they're looking to pay someone $25 a week. Now, sure, this is not great money, but this is a way to get started in this industry and build your portfolio and start getting ratings on Upwork so you can eventually get higher paid jobs. Here they've shown an example of the type of thumb thumbnail that they like. So this is the example of the kind of thumbnail that they want. They linked us to this uh, right here with this person's channel. Now these are the kinds of thumbnails that drive me crazy, the typical make money online, make $750 in a few clicks. But you know, these are the kinds of thumbnails that people click and they wanna watch these videos even if what they are telling you is not true. But in any case, if you are able to make these kinds of thumbnails, you know, that is what this person is willing to pay for something like this. And these are super easy to create and I will show you how we can create something just like this on Canva afterwards. And this person as their sample of the thumbnail that they wanted was this right here, which is, I mean, this is just a picture with the number five over it. So that is not even very complicated to create at all. Okay, so when you are applying to a job, you will click on a job like this. It will tell you how many connects you need to submit a proposal. I obviously have a lot because I have the premium Upwork membership, but you still get free connects every month that you can use to apply to these jobs. I recommend applying to jobs with a lower amount like this one, which is four, um, and that way you can apply to more jobs. You'll click submit a proposal, 
And here you can propose with a specialized profile or a general profile. So you can make a specialized profile for your work as a thumbnail designer. So that way you look like you are actually, this is what you do as your full-time job, that you are a graphic designer. So here you're going to put in how much you want to bid for the job. Now they have the budget at $500, but because they have said $5 per thumbnail, four thumbnails per week, you could just put $20 as your bid. So that would be four thumbnails per week for $20. How long will this project take? Less than one month. And then here there's a space for you to put in your cover letter. So you could say, so for example, hello, I see that you are looking for someone to create thumbnails for your YouTube channel. I have a large portfolio of thumbnails I have created for videos on YouTube that match the style you are looking for. Uh, very similar to the Finance Girl channel you referenced. I would be happy to get started creating thumbnails for you immediately, and I can provide the files in both PSD and JPEG format as requested. A lot of these jobs want you to provide the files both in uh, Photoshop format and JPEG, and you can convert your Canva files to PSD, which I will show you actually in my next tutorial. I hope you like my work, and I look forward to discussing this project with you further. Best regards, Jennifer. Um, you can see here they've put very strong. Uh, I want you to make sure that you check this with Grammarly to make sure you don't have any spelling errors. That is very important as well. And then here they may have more questions that you need to write. Are you okay with the price from description? If not, don't apply. Did you add samples? If not, don't apply. So to add samples, you can at the bottom, so under attachments at the bottom, you can drag or upload project files. So here is where you can upload your JPEG files of your best examples of the thumbnails that you have created. And then you would click submit a proposal. So if you click on find work and profile, you can see your profile right here. So here you're going to want to click on the plus icon in order to add more elements to your portfolio. And this says add portfolio project. And here you can put a project title, then go to select template and you can put a gallery and you can either display images or videos one at a time or classic or case study and go to add details. And then you can drag and drop and you can add in an example of your thumbnail that you created. And then here you can put in any more project description. So this is an example of a thumbnail I created for a client. And then go to preview. For this one, I chose the classic template and that allowed us to see the entire thumbnail. Okay, so now you'll have your title, your project description, and the example of your thumbnail, and you can click publish and that will publish that to your portfolio. So now I've told you how to search for jobs on Upwork, how to submit a proposal and apply to jobs, and how to fill out your portfolio. So now I'm going to show you how you can create YouTube thumbnails using Canva so that you can start getting a portfolio ready to apply to jobs on Upwork.com. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go on canva.com and then here we're going to type in thumbnail and you can click here on YouTube thumbnail and you'll see it will give us the dimensions of 1280 by 720 pixels, which is the size we need to create a YouTube thumbnail. And here you can see we have over 4,000 different templates that we can choose from. However, if you are using this for your portfolio, it is a great idea to create your own custom thumbnails that you can actually say you created. So let's click on create a blank YouTube thumbnail. Again, Canva is completely free. You do not need the premium version in order to use this. If you click on the link in the description below, you will be directed to Canva via my link. Okay, so one of the guys on Upwork wanted thumbnails that looked like this uh, person's YouTube channel here. These are the kinds of thumbnails that drive me crazy. They are clickbait completely, but to design these thumbnails is really easy and I'm going to show you how you can design a thumbnail like this. So the first thing we need is a background. If we go to Canva, we can click here on background and you can click on this icon here and choose any color that you want for your background. You can also use any landscape patterns, gradients, whatever you want. The next thing we want to do is add some text. So let's click on text and then click here on add a heading. 
can adjust the text size by dragging on these nodes here or selecting a value here under font size. Let's add a crazy clickbait uh, title like this. And you can triple click to highlight all of it and then select your font here. And there are all sorts of different fonts that you can use. If you want to change the color of the font, again, just triple click to highlight everything. Click here on text color and then you can choose whatever color you want. Now let's go to elements. And under lines and shapes, we're going to select this rectangle here. And I'm going to change that to, uh, let's say black. And we've got that behind the text. You could also go right click, bring uh, to front or send to back, depending on where you want it. And you could do something like this to make it stand out or just over the 100. Actually, I think I'm going to change this to white and then change the font to black. Then also under elements, you can search for something. So let's type in cursor and you can use any of these icons. For example, this one here, you could only use if you had the pro version of Canva, but any of these ones uh, at the top here, you could use even without the pro version. Now let's click here on Pixabay and here you can use any of these Im images. They are royalty free. So we could type in um, mobile phone or cell phone. Let's click on this image here and then click free download and then download. Not a robot, I'm gonna verify. And then you can use this image for free. So now we'll go back into Canva. We'll click uploads, upload media, select your photo and then double click it to drag it into the image. Oh, I did two. So if you accidentally um, did two, you can just click delete. All right, and now we can adjust this and we could go like this to rotate it. We can change the layout of any of our elements just by clicking on the nodes. Even change the line spacing like this if you wanna go like that. And then under elements, you can click anything else uh, that you wanted to add. Let's say a YouTube icon, money, and then Canva is really cool because here you can change the colors by clicking on it um, and you could try to make it match. For example, I changed this money to blue and white so it matches the rest of the image. And again, this is such a crazy sort of thumbnail. It's so clickbaity, but it's very similar to these sorts of things that we're seeing on this person's channel here. One click, $25. Um, and this is the sort of thumbnail that one of these people on Upwork wants, thumbnails like this. So if you were going to create a thumbnail like this to apply to the job, what I would do is make sure you insert somewhere here your username or who you are or that this is for Upwork and that way they know that you didn't just copy and paste this thumbnail from the internet. So, you know, for example, if you put here in the same font, um, I'm gonna click Control C to copy, Control V to paste. And let's say I put Jennifer Marie in the same font, really small over here you know, something like that. And that way they'd know that you actually created this thumbnail for Upwork. And when you want to download the thumbnail, you just click download and then you download it here as PNG, download. And then you can go ahead and use this as one of your thumbnails in your portfolio when you are applying to Upwork. Of course, this is a very basic thumbnail. You can get creative and create much more elaborate looking thumbnails that will take you longer to create and then also put your information so they know that you created it. This is just an example of how to make a quick one uh, with Canva. I do have a full tutorial on how to make a more elaborate thumbnails with Canva, which I will link you to in the description below this video as well. But this video has just been a quick walkthrough of how you can find jobs on Upwork related to becoming a YouTube thumbnail designer, how to apply to those jobs, how to fill out your portfolio, and then how to quickly create thumbnails with Canva that you can then use in your portfolio when you are applying to these jobs. 
So thank you guys once again for watching this video. If you liked it, please click like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And if you want more tutorials on how to create thumbnails in more detail, let me know in the comment section. I will see you all in my next tutorial.